I heard there was some news about Vinyl Me Please opening up some kind of record plant in Denver. Oh my god, what a time to be alive, Lance. <laughs> Let me tell you, man. Um, Denver is slowly or quickly becoming some sort of manufacturing hub for vinyl because uh, Victrola just opened up a new headquarters down there and they'll be doing some of that as well. Mm -hmm. But the real news, or at least the sort of exciting news, is that Vinyl Me Please is opening up an audiophile grade pressing plant right next to the Mission Ballroom Sweet. in Denver, Colorado. So Mission Ballroom is a 4,000-person, state-of-the-art yeah. music venue that was designed and built by AEG, and it has all kinds of different, like, setups that you can do in there. You can do intimate things, and you can kind of close off different sections of the venue with um, curtains and whatnot, mm -hmm. but it, it, it sounds fantastic. The ventilation is fantastic. The room itself is is solid. The sight lines are pretty amazing. Uh, they designed the seating at the top to be more like Red Rock seating, where you have like a wider platform. So it's actually a really smart design. And what's exciting is that because that's there, they're opening up this Vinyl Me Please record pressing plant right, right next door. That's and cool. and it's this it's going to be a fourteen thousand foot square foot facility that is open to the public for tours. And it's re really, I foresee it being becoming a hub for not only like records and record culture in general, but it's going to be a place for people to gather and really try to push the envelope and push, you know, yeah. what we can do with this median because um, it's just, I just think it's really exciting. I'm, well, I'm excited to hear that, you know, they're, it's growing and we're seeing more plants come up and having one right in Denver, I think that's, that's really sweet and I would love to go and see like in person, you know, that process of, of, you know, pressing records and, and doing the whole thing. Like, and I know cause I, I've subscribed to Vinyl Me Please and they put out a high quality product and it'd be cool to see that process. Well, you could see a few examples of the types of, of records that they put out amazing packaging, really solid pressings yeah you you're not you know interesting choices when it comes to the art that they're including uh the color of the vinyl that they're pressing like there's a lot yeah, going on so there's cool colors there's like special artwork they stick in there sometimes stickers all kinds of stuff high quality as it stands they're high quality 180 gram pressings but they're not quote unquote one off audio or files, yeah. yeah audiophile uhq whatever mofi however you want to say it so i think that's what's the most exciting element of this is that they're going to gain this capability to press some of the highest quality wax that's available on the market yeah, today so i'm pretty neat. excited about that so what we've reached out to a few of our contacts there and we are in the process of trying to get down there and check out the facility no promises on any of that stuff but we we are in the in the process because we want to stay on, on top of this and we want to try to tell the story of vmp coming into denver a little bit more and maybe take a field trip or something as we get yeah, a little bit closer be, that would be really cool to do that so the story is they're going to be opening sometime in the net you know next year and so it would be we're one of our goals uh for content this year is to get down there and check it out and see what yeah. they got going on hopefully we'll be able to pull that off but yeah we're already talking to them and we'll see what we can do. Yeah. Uh, if you're not familiar, check out VinylMePlease.com. It's an amazing site where they're pressing and repressing some incredible wax. Things that you should know, things that you might not know, things that you probably do know. Um, they're all, they're, 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 they're not really leaving any genre out. They're kind of like, you know, my John Prine Vinyl Me Please is fantastic. Yeah. Like, they really are kind of like doing what needs to be done in the industry. And this is not a paid sponsorship. No, but it could be. <laughs> It really fucking could be. No. <laughs> no, I, I think that, I think we're just nerds about this stuff because we get excited about, you know, getting records repressed. We get excited about things that we haven't been able to find, things that have been out of print for decades, and all of a sudden, you know, it's available again. And so I think for me, any anybody that's out there pressing wax of a high quality nature gets my vote because yeah. I'm, that's... Well, because we've seen... Uh, and there's been a lot of news about this of just, you know, a lot of these pressing plants putting out inferior products, stuff with like the center hole is not centered right mm -hmm. or 
it's scuffed. Like a brand new record you pull out and then there's issues with it. Yeah. You know, and you've been seeing that in some of these, like kind of the more mass market stuff. Um, so it, it's good to know that, you know, we're kind of moving into the more of the higher quality uh, direction. I think from a technological standpoint, we have the ability to put out a, a, mu- a yeah. much more superior product. And I know that in the in the 80s, you know, early 80s, as we got into the oil crisis, there was there was demands on oil and things like that that yeah, caused so them can... to press thinner records. Yep. And so that's when you get those like Dynaflex, Dynaflex <laughs> bobble wobble records that warp so easy. And I think that if we can, you know, we've we've moved away from that as a record culture yeah. for sure. I mean, you you're not really getting things that are pressed on anything less than 140 grams these right. days. That all being said, it can always be better, and you can mm-hmm. always do better. And I think that um, we've seen in recent months in in the last year the skyrocketing of price, right. not only for traditional regular LPs, but the audiophile pressings have gone through the roof. Yeah, yeah. So, so anything that we can do as you know an industry to bring down the price of high quality records for the mass. I mean, Mofi's used to be fifty bucks. What happened, man? What happened? They're sixty. Not no what no. Uh, <laughs> they're one hundred and twenty five fucking bucks. How oh, much was this? The UHQ or the- how much was this guy right here? This OMR right here. How much was this guy? This is 125 bucks if you can find it for 125 bucks. So well, I, that's a special case. That's not a typical mofo. It's one record, right? Yeah, but that's the yeah, one stuff. It's one fucking record. Okay. So sorry, I'm being a little crass, but you get what I'm Nothing saying. Nothing against Mole Fidelity, who's a great company. No, Mofi's like Mo Mo great too. Well, you can sponsor us as well. No shit. Not after it, that. It is up, <laughs> but not for 125. We'll do some giveaways with the Mofi's once they give us Don't a bunch. Stop of giving them. my stuff away. <laughs> but no, I'm just saying, like, <laughs> like it's not just it's not just audiophile pressings that we're. Seeing. So I know I know that um, Vinyl Me Please is working really hard to get their records out there more. So before, really, the only way you can get them is off of their website or to join the record club you know sure um but now if you go into record stores you see a shelf of vinyl me please records Mm -hmm. all over the place like i there's a number of places in town where i've seen them and i've been talking to some little horse right little horse has them uh downtown sound has them Uh, i'm sure uh i think all sales vinyl has them i don't know um but yeah they come in and they they actually ask can i set up a a display with our records and Mm -hmm. it's like sure and they rotate them out, so every month they take the old stuff out and put the new stuff in, and they just kind of keep fresh stuff in there. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's there's cool. a new, like, tri TriQual Quest record out now. Yep, that's big. Um, and then they're going to rotate them here in a couple weeks. I'm, I'm stoked about it. The, the VMP pressing plant will be led by legendary record maker and Grammy winner Gary Salstrom. And basically, they are bringing in some, some heavy hitters to make sure that this is done right. And I think that, that that, again, is another exciting element of this whole thing. And I honestly look forward to VMP calling Denver home and, yeah. uh, and, and opening it up to the public in a way that I don't think we've seen maybe ever before. Yeah, it would be great to, to see that come here. Cool. Check out VinylMePlease.com. If you're from Vinyl Me Please, you know, let's talk about sponsorship. That's fine. Um, <laughs> but, but, but to be serious... Um, we support any company that's putting out a high quality product and we support companies that are supporting their listeners and the people that uh, are buying their products. So, uh, yes, you're going to pay a little bit of a premium for a vinyl me please uh, copy, but you're also getting a quality product, a quality product. You're getting artwork. And honestly, you're not going to pay any more than you're paying for the regular LP yeah. in the damn record store these days. Cause yeah, they're catching up to this. They're catching up. So, so keep actually I got to give a shout out to their, um, customer service is really great too. Yeah. I had an issue with one of their records and, they sent me another one right away, and I didn't have to send the other one back. They did a great job. Wow, that's great. Well, like I said, we will uh, be following the VMP developments uh, over the next few months and uh, working on trying to get you guys some, some more insider information about what's really going on down there and what it's going to look like when we actually open the doors here uh, in the next year or two. Yeah, it would be great. Yeah. Tranquility. Tranquility. Tranquility.